Well, that was rough. Detroit. So Detroit is a movie, is it about Detroit? Not really. The movie Detroit takes place in Detroit during the Detroit riots of 1957. Is it about the riots? Not really. The racial tensions in this time in Detroit were at an all time high. The guitar strings snapped, riots are happening. Police are out there to handle the riots. Handle the riots. And a lot of black people were wrongfully imprisoned by the police, assaulted by the police. So this movie is the true story of what happened at the Algiers Motel during the Detroit riots. These officers believe they hear some gunfire. They go over there, they ransack the place, they line up these black guys and two white girls on this wall. They're all like, we don't have a gun. And the cop leading this charge is this blatantly racist dude. So they're like, you don't have a gun, huh? Well, we'll beat you, torture you. We're gonna smash a confession out of one of you. So that's more or less this movie. The movie's directed by Catherine Bigelow, so we have some talent behind the camera here. First of all, the one main racist cop in this movie is played by Will Poulter. Yeah, he's that bratty eyebrows kid from that Narnia movie. Dude, it was really good. He totally brought it in this movie. He's scary. That's what I'm trying to say. John Boyega is also in the movie. He plays a security guard. He's optimistic to a naive quality. He's like, nah, they're doing their jobs, right? This, this is kind of the world. It's kind of just what they got to do, right? I'll keep telling myself that. And John Boyega in this movie was great. Like right when he comes on screen, one of his first couple lines, you're like, yep, that's that Boyega quality right there. That's that charm. You know, I've always been a fan of Boyega. I was a fan of him in this movie too. And I've heard some people call this movie like it's a horror movie. I feel like that's a 50-50 statement. I feel like half the people who say it, say it in a positive light. The other half say it in a negative light. I personally agree that it is a bit of a horror movie in a positive light. Because what's more horrific than seeing what mankind is capable of at a personal level to his fellow man. What this movie is, is a tension grenade. Your adrenaline's pumping, your heart's going, you feel like you are in that room on that wall. Someone else gets hurt and there's nothing you can do about it, nothing they can do about it. And the guitar string tightens. That's what this movie's good at. It's also very good at making you feel that helplessness. If the movie's just showing you what's going on, not making you feel as helpless as the ones on screen, then really it kind of comes across as ineffective. But the movie was really good at making you feel like, yep, there's nothing any of us can do. I do feel the title is misleading. It's called Detroit. I'm sure Detroit's out there like, great guys, thank you. Probably should have been called Algiers or Algiers Motel. Algiers 57, something. Calling it Detroit if it was about the Detroit riots, sure. But it's not really about the riots. The majority of this movie takes place in the hallway and a couple of rooms in this motel. This movie does leave me with a couple of questions concerning the main officer. He does something near the beginning of the movie and his superior's like, no, you don't do that. You're actually a shithead for doing that. And I feel like that could have played later on in the movie when we're dealing with credibility and it never really does. So did he really do that thing in the beginning? Did his superior never bring it up? And I'll say the beginning of this movie has some weird animated setup. It wants to give you information, backstory, history on what led to the racial tensions in Detroit. The way it does it is with this animation, I just didn't feel it fit. And one could say it's a unique take in a movie like this to give us that much backstory, but I just didn't feel it was necessary to know that it's gotten to this point. It felt kind of sloppy when I didn't know it was about the Algiers Motel. I thought the movie as a whole was about the Detroit riot. So I was like, all right, well, I'm glad I got that weird messy backstory to know how it got to this point, I guess. Then when it concentrates on the Algiers Motel, I'm like, Okay, so all we had to know was that the riots were happening and this situation happened within the riot. I didn't have to know why the racial tension got to that point to lead to the riots to lead to the Algiers Motel. I feel like you could have started out with black screen, some white text to give you some of the backstory, and then the riots happen and then you go into the Algiers Motel. If anyone wants to look into it further, Google is out there. We have the internet. Guys, this is one of those movies that's focused in purpose but large in scope. The acting among everybody in the movie was great. The tension is the backbone of this movie. It's uncomfortable. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's well constructed. It's well done. And that's what I love movies can do. They can ultimately give you a history lesson. Yes, in a story that's 50 years old, there's going to be some dramatization here and there in the movie, but they've reconstructed it the best way they could. A movie like this needs to be handled with a sense of responsibility and care. I feel like Catherine Bigelow did that. I don't know how many times I'm going to watch the movie. That's the thing about this movie. Is like a movie like this, how much replay value does it have? So it's kind of an ironic rating that I say, Detroit is worth watching and worth buying on Blu-ray. Point is, it's really good. All right, guys, so Detroit, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below let me know and as always if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more click right here to see more